hair color knocks out the gray better than ever. We're here in St. Charles, Missouri. There's the Lewis and Clark statue. We're at the Ameristar Casino, not far away from that spot at St. Charles Park. This was Lewis and Clark's first stop on their westward journey. And historian Jeremy Couture also tells us it is the first capital of the state of Missouri. And Danny Williams is hoping that it is a good place to make his Metro St. Louis homecoming as he's an 18-1 lightweight prospect who went away to Youngstown, Ohio, said it helped him change his ways, just simply being separated from some of the people back home, got himself into trouble, went away, served time from 06 to 08, and now a promising prospect. But Joe, before you start, uh, before you start talking about his resume and how he wants to uh, become champion, he got hit with a right hand, but it was only one shot. He got hit with a right hand, but he took it well, and and he responded well, but you know this this fight has to be uh, a little bit bold. Hello, boy, did he like that? And the fight is over. Steve Smoger wastes no time. He put the jab behind it, then the right hand cashed in. It's over. Antonio Cervantes is out on his back. Danny Williams with a crushing blow. Dr. Raynal Caldwell and Matthew Hart in the ring attending to Antonio Cervantes. And you can see that he is responding. He is responsive as Williams celebrates an utterly spectacular knockout will show you plenty of replays of this first you feel very 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 happy but then within seconds you realize that the guy didn't get up yet so you worry it's mixed emotions you see Williams is on the ropes he's just celebrating but then again he's coming back over and he's looking making sure the guy's okay so it's mixed emotions it's, you know you want to you want to be happy that you got a victory but then you, you you're concerned because guy haven't got up yet. Dr. Caldwell and Hart are taking this slow for Cervantes step by step. They sit him up. As you can see they're putting ice on the back of the head. I mean it was a thud when his head hit the canvas. We're going to show you plenty of this folks. Here it is. Danny Williams spectacular KO. Bernard how did he make it happen? He did a fake and jab. Like you said it was a throwaway jab in the right hand. He got his opponent to look at the jab. And then he set him up the leverage with just a straight right hand. And he done that shot early in the fight. He did the same thing and hit him with a with a right hand. See, he just threw it out there. It's a, it's a throwaway jab. And then a right hand. Here's in real speed. Listen to this. Wow. Two massive thugs. First is the leather of the right hand of Danny Williams to the chin of Cervantes. And then the back of the head of the 33-year-old Cervantes hitting the ring. Steve Smoger wasted not one second waving off this fight. The canvas was the biggest blow. You heard the boom because that's the biggest blow. It's been but that Steve kind of the year on Friday Night Fight. Yes. Bernard. Steve Smoger is new that one no reason to count. If you count, it might be, you know, really, really bad to count why this guy is out like this. He need help, he need assistance. They got they it to him right away. Yeah. Been that kind of a year. One dynamic finish after another. And for our latest, we send it up to the ring to Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, five seconds of round number four. Your winner by way of knockout, dangerous, Danny Williams. Williams has now won seven straight since his only loss back in 2009. He moves his mark to 19 and one with 15 knockouts. That's a nice way to come back home and showcase your skills.